A Spokane yarn and knitting supply shop is back open after a fire damaged most of its inventory in February. Dozens of customers made their way back to Paradise Fibers to celebrate its reopening. Derek Strom caught up with the owner to talk about what challenges will still be ahead. We marked our calendars. We did. We <laughs> marked it in our calendars and sent texts back and forth and, and planned to be here. Yeah. Paradise Fibers says the dozens of loyal customers that flock to the store for its reopening or who it's relying on to stay in business in the coming months. It already took months of hard work to restock its inventory after a fire and smoke damage ruined most of its inventory, but owner Bill Romine says there's plenty more work to do. We're heading into the busy season. And if, if things go like they should, we, sh we should survive through that. And, uh, hope, that's all I can say is, you know, we're, we're doing our best and uh, it's a tough world out there. We're just part of it now. <laughs> Construction workers are still working to fix this wall that was damaged in the fire back in February, but Paradise Fibers was still able to reopen and its loyal customers are very happy to see it back. The people that work here are so nice, very helpful, um, very knowledgeable, and there is a huge selection of yarn. Customers like Becky Burnett and Margie Llewellyn says they were devastated when they found out their favorite knitting store was forced to close and even checked with the store several times about when it would reopen. Oh, it's oh so just nice. really good. Yeah, really it's nice. really good. And to look at all the yarns again. We're just happy that they're open and happy to come back. Owner Bill Romine says they brought on a few new employees for the reopening, but many of them stuck around even after the fire. Loyalty from customers and employees are what make him cautiously optimistic about Paradise Fibers continuing to rise from the ashes. We're going to have to you know, cross our fingers and do what we think is best, and we'll just see how it turns out. In Spokane, Derek Strom, 4 News Now.